actually the smoke's doing well, it's just going... Then look at that. The smoke's going up and it's blowing that way, and the ribbon was going... So we've got a tunnelling effect coming through here. Um, which is something we're going to have to be careful of when we start moving down um, further down towards the lower Lewis Ponds Road. How, with this hazard reduction, what sort of planning have you done before you, you've conducted it? This has been about, um, well we've had mitigation crews in which have done the roadways and along the fence line here. So they were here for good nearly a, oh, three, four days. I've been looking at it now for over nearly three weeks, off and on. We've had a team out here when we did the prescribed burn supervisors course. We had a whole, we had about 14 people out here walking around, looking at it, giving me their opinions. But the main thing it comes down to is working out uh, where you're going to start burning and what crews you need. Which most of that was designed and worked out um, yesterday when Brett and I were out here. The burn plan's been written now for over 12 months because we've been doing, going to do it for... But we just could, didn't, have the, didn't have the means to uh, put the containment lines in because to run in here with a dozer would have uh, ruined the, the tracks and everything as what they are. So we were better off to wait and we've been lucky to get the state mitigation crews which has enabled us to um, get the containment lines in and do the burn this year. And as you can see behind me, there's a bad, there's another just as bad area. And there's another one just as you're going up uh, Deer Vale Lane, up near Deer Vale Lane there, up here in the corner. It's really bad and that's right at the back of houses. So we're going to have to, we've done this one this year, we might have to put one of them up there next year, mosaically pick them out and um, slowly has it reduced. What about from a wildlife point of view? How have you tried to protect the wildlife here from damage? Luckily enough, about five years ago, um, a national parks group, uh, led by national parks, but it was a uh, all uh, private citizens, went through here and did a survey. So I've got the results of that survey. I've also, we check it through with the um, National Parks Wildlife Atlas, and also I've done a number of surveys through here myself, working out what's here. Now the main thing in this area, um, there's robins, powerful owls, etc. But this low intensity burn, as you can see today, no higher than probably a waste, is not going to affect um, their livelihood. In that the robins love the uh, it, the convectional currents will bring the bugs up. So if there's any in the area here, they'll be up there having a good feast this morning. The owls and everyone can move on. There's areas over here. This will only be like this for probably two or three days. And as you can see, the canopy's not being scorched. Okay, we've got a couple of smoking trees, but that'll be good in that it'll open up some um, cavities for the uh, birds and everyone to roost in, which is a problem we've got in the, in the whole Australian landscape we haven't had enough fire in it for the last probably 50, 60 years. See, this area hasn't been burnt here for at least 70 years, since the 1940s. So, again, we won't need to come back here now for another probably 15 years. And what will it mean, as this, this block, hazard reducing this block, what are you going to protect if a major fire does come through here? We're mainly looking at protecting um, Spring Glen, Estate, Clifton Grove, and the people all up in Strathmore Plain. Because if a wind, if something comes in from the east, where this is the idea is just to slow it down so we can get to it here, or if it comes from the west, from over here on Lower Lewis Ponds Road, we're going to be protecting the grazing lands to the east. Now this hazard reduction only slows the fire down so that we can get to it and stop it. If it's a major wildfire and it hits the trees like what happened in Victoria and so forth. Doesn't matter what you do, it's not going to stop it. But this will stop the 90% of the fires that you get, this will slow it down enough for the firefighters to be able to actually get in and stop the fire. How's your hazard reduction program going this year? Started off slow at the moment, 
but hopefully next week we'll start on the big ones which will be out towards Tugong and then down into Cowra and that's when we will really start um, we'll be using helicopters then which means that we're doing big burns you know five six seven eight hundred hectare at once not not in the same block but in different areas we'll do them all in one day because you can do it with a chopper and much more surgically done than what you can by doing it with